Good morning. So today's workout, we're gonna focus just on shoulders, straight shoulders. Um, we're still gonna focus on supersets. So remember supersets, just two exercises um, paired together. So for example, we're gonna do a dumbbell shoulder press, 12 to 15 reps, set it down, grab a lighter pair of dumbbells, and I'll do dumbbell lateral raise, 15 reps. And that'll be one set. We'll do three sets. Okay. After that, we'll do a dumbbell Arnold press, 12 to 15 reps, set it down, and we'll do a lighter pair of dumbbells, dumbbell uppercut, 15 reps. Okay. Three sets. After that, we're gonna go into a dumbbell reverse fly, 12 to 15 reps into a TRX Y raise, 15 reps, three sets. And then we're gonna finish it off with a dumbbell front to lateral raise, 12 reps into dumbbell shrugs, 24 reps. Let's go to work. First exercise, dumbbell shoulder press, except we're gonna do it with a hold. So, kind of change my mind. So, what's that gonna look like it is six on each arm. So one arm is gonna hold a 90 while the other arm presses for six reps and then you're gonna switch. So it looks like this. Right after that shoulder press, we're going straight into a lateral raise. Slide bend your elbows, dumbbells come up shoulder height, squeeze up top, core is nice and tight. You got 15 reps, body does not move. Body's nice and tight, focus on those raises, working on that lateral part of that shoulder. Slow on the eccentric as you're coming down. Feel that tension on those shoulders. Try to hold on that last rep for like two to three seconds. So I noticed on my alternating shoulder press, I was doing heavy, so I went with 60s. So Feel yourself out when you're lifting, right? So on that certain movement, if you went too heavy on the first set, just lower it. Or if you went too light on the first set, go heavier, right? The reason I wanna go lighter is because I want more of a full extension instead of just popping it up there. Um, that's just me, that's the way I'm feeling right now. I want a little bit more slower movement and then get that full extension up instead of popping up really heavy weights. Um, I just think the time under tension today is going to be a little bit more effective than trying to go super heavy, especially on that movement. So see how you feel after the first set, after your warm-up, and then adjust as you need to go. The next two exercises, after we finish those three sets, is going to be a dumbbell Arnold press, 12 to 15 reps, followed by uppercuts, 12 to 15 reps. Now Arnold press is kind of similar to that hold shoulder press that we just did. You're gonna start with your palms facing towards you and you're gonna rotate them out, forming that 90 degrees, and then you're gonna press up. Control back to 90, palms face toward you, out 90, press up. So that tension is gonna be constantly on that front head of your shoulder. From there, we're gonna set it down and go straight into uppercuts where palms face you, and just a slight increase still keeping that tension on that front head. Let's go to work.
into those uppercuts. 15 reps. So I tell members all the time on uppercuts, when you're here, it's just a slight extension. So your elbow should come to about your chin as you press up. It's not a full extension of the arms. So on that uppercut, your palms face you the whole time. Slight extension, elbows just meet your chin, squeeze, and then control back down. The whole point is to keep that tension on that front head of that shoulder. The whole point is not to extend all the way up. Slight extension, control. Back down, it's always about that tension. Keeping that tension on that front head. Core stays engaged. Body stays nice and still. So I'm rolling those supersets, 12 to 15 reps. Both exercises, that's one set. We got three sets. So the next uh, duo of exercises we're gonna be doing is a dumbbell reverse fly. Okay, 15, 12 to 15 reps. And we're gonna set it down, we're gonna go into a straight Y raise with the TRX straps. Um, if you don't have TRX straps at home, right? A lot of people don't, myself included. Um, we can always come into lighter weights, grab lighter weights, and then just come up and bring them up into that Y if we need to. So reverse fly, you can do it two different ways. You can do a nice little hip hinge Right, tip of the hip, and then come back. Or you can do a sitting down. I like to vary depending on how my back feels that day. So we gotta do the hip hinge reverse fly. Right, tip of the hip, chest up, shoulders back. Slight bend the knees, slight bend those elbows. Dumbbells come up shoulder height. No jerking, right? Just the rear shoulders working. So chest is up, shoulders back. Slight bend the elbows, straight back, squeezing those shoulders at the very back, okay? Another version of those this. Dumbbells feet are a little bit further in front of you. Dumbbells are gonna go just underneath those legs. Lean, try to get that chest as close to your thighs as you can. Again, same concept, slight bend the elbows. Dumbbells come up, shoulder height, head stays neutral, control, on that eccentric, on the way down, keeping that tension on the shoulders. Now on the Y raise, if you have TRX straps at home, remember a Y raise is not out here. What does a Y look like, right? A Y, your body forms a Y. So arms are not here, arms are up. Okay, so on that Y raise, tighten your anchors, okay? Shoulders are back. Glutes are tight, core is nice and tight. As you come up, squeeze, and then control that descent. Don't let that trunk drop, right? Keep the hips up, glutes are tight, body stays nice and flat like a surfboard. Control it as you come up, and then control as you come down. There's no loose ends on that T-Rex strap. Strap stays tight the entire time. Now, if you don't have a TRX strap at home, I would go into a scaption. So it's kind of like a 45 degree angle with the, dumb with the dumbbells. Thumbs are facing up. Um, or I would go a little bit higher with the dumbbells. So what that would look like, scaption, 45 degree angle with the dumbbells, shoulders back, chest up, up squeeze, control back down. Or you can even take it up a little bit higher if you'd like. Make sure you avoid swinging that body. Body stays nice and still. Squeeze, control, back down. Now I know that works a different part of your shoulder because the Y raise, yeah, you're working still that part of the shoulder, but you're mostly working your back. But we also worked our back of our shoulders with the um, reverse flies. So if you don't have a T-Rex strap at home, I would just go into those scaptions or a little bit higher if you like on that shoulder work. We're gonna finish up with the last two exercises. We're gonna do a dumbbell front to a lateral raise. And we're gonna do 12 reps. So front raise, straight into a lateral raise. That's one rep, okay? So up one, 
up one, one rep. You got 12, okay? Straight from there, we're gonna go into shrugs. So shrugs, if you don't have dumbbells, grab something a lot heavier than what you've been lifting for your shoulders, for your other shoulder exercises. So try to get really two heavy suitcases and we're gonna have a nice firm grip on them. All we're gonna do, my dad told me this when I was little, is just pretend like you're a kid and you're telling your parents, I don't know, right? Like, I don't know. So let's just chest up, shoulders back, up squeeze, control back down. We're working those traps. So on that front to lateral raise, you can do it two different ways. You can have your thumbs facing up on that front raise and then go into that lateral raise or you can have your palms facing down on that front raise and then into that lateral raise. Kind of whatever you're more comfortable doing or whichever one you enjoy more. I like having my thumbs face up. So I like this kind of front raise more and then into a lateral raise. It's just personal preference, either way it works. traps it'll stabilize the neck shoulders will be stronger um, and yeah so for ladies that think like oh, I don't want to get bulky lifting weights it's not gonna make you bulky okay Four reps, straight through the shrugs, good firm grip on the dumbbells chest up shoulders back and up squeeze control back down emphasis on that squeeze so from the side up down, up, down. Again, firm grip on the heavy equipment that you're holding. It should almost feel like your world is shaking right at the top of that squeeze. 24 reps. So all these exercises that I'm giving you guys tips and tricks on like the form and technique and little um, tweaks that you can make them um, a little bit harder. For those of you that are just starting weight training, obviously start with lighter weights, right? To get your form and technique first and to teach your body how it feels when you're in those certain movements, right? Because if you're looking, I tell our members all the time when you're lifting, look at yourself in the mirror. It's not a vanity thing. It's not to like, look at yourself, I'm so pretty and stuff like that. It's to know that everything is symmetrical, right? So if I'm doing lateral raises, my arms, it should be a straight line, fist to fist, right? One arm is not higher than the other. So then I can gauge by looking in the mirror that it's a straight line I'm drawing fist to fist. Over time, you'll be able to do it without the mirror because your body will know what it feels like when you're right in that area where you need to be in it's that moment. It's kind of like riding a bicycle. You kind of never forget. So when you're lifting, when you're doing these exercises properly, like right, say bicep curls, and you're, you're looking at yourself in the mirror, you're seeing those muscles squeeze. Over time, when you don't have mirror, you'll be able to know when you're getting that proper squeeze at that proper moment, doing that movement without having to look at yourself in the mirror. You'll know just based off of feeling, okay? So if you have a mirror at home, practice in the mirror, um, it'll just help that mind to muscle connection over time.